This video will demonstrate transferring an estimate to QuickBooks based off of a six project file. Uh, here I am in the project explorer and I've got the project highlighted that I want to push over to QuickBooks as an estimate. So uh, first things first, let's uh, open it. Double click it and it will open up the uh, project editor. We'll go ahead and expand that full screen. Now from here, you can go to the QuickBooks tab and choose to create an estimate for uh, just the selected uh, items, products in the list, or all of the items in the list. And that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to push the entire thing over as a uh, an estimate to QuickBooks. So um, now, if the customer uh, colon job, these are QuickBooks terms, uh, do not exist over in QuickBooks, you can always create a, a new customer, and that will automatically create a new job for that customer based on the project name. Uh, or if the customer already exists in QuickBooks, but not this particular job, uh, you can always just click the new job. Um, button here and this will let you select from your existing list of clients or customers over in QuickBooks. In this case uh, this customer and uh, job are already over in QuickBooks they've been created so we'll go ahead and just select them from a list and here in this list you can see all of the uh, parts from the job. Uh, most of these are assigned accounting item numbers I did a bulk transfer earlier uh, but here's one that's not and um, hopefully there's only one that's not. Now if this already exists over in uh, QuickBooks, you can always uh, map that if you'd like, or you could highlight it and create it here. Um, or um, just because I don't want to go through this entire list to find everything that's missing, if you just attempt to export this, you'll be warned if there are items that don't have matching QuickBooks items. So you can create those right from here. I'll go ahead and choose yes. And this is going to load the items form so you can create these over in QuickBooks. And here on the Create QuickBooks Items form, um, I can see there's actually two that are not assigned. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to mark them as non-inventory parts. Um, got my account selected here. If you want to pick a vendor here, you can. Um, I'll actually skip that step for now. And simply create that item over in QuickBooks, then this item. And once you've done that, hit OK. It will go back here to the Estimates form, and it's going to then push this over to QuickBooks. It's uh, showing that it's saved as estimate number two. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'll pull up QuickBooks here. And we'll go Home. We'll go to Estimates and Previous. And this is what just transferred over from six.